Hello guys, today I'll be doing a chain video this time, it will be just immediately to give you my thoughts and rank the character, I mean the character, and let's begin with uh, Goenji Japan. So, so Goenji Japan is not very used, let's say, he's kinda underperforming, and in this game there is not a bad or a good character, let's say, there are just characters that are used and characters that are underused, let's begin with that, and Goenji is just this version of him is just underused. Uh, the thing is that he's, this version especially has an 8 minute charge time, it's the only version of Goenji that has a slow charge time, which is unfortunate, but with Bo he's getting an A charge time, which is okay, but most of the time as a chainer you won't be with the Bo. However, if you want to go for a slow chain and you're sure your goalkeeper is going to bring something like Senguji or Tachimukai, if he's going to get him as a goalkeeper, um, he's becoming okay because he can now uncharge even. If you uncharge him a little bit and go for the, let's say around the 10th or the 12 minute chain with the Sario or Gamma on the wing, he can get insane value and even score versus Shinsuke. But it's very situational. So overall, I would say he's on top of B, maybe on bottom of A. He's not that good. He is just there, and before there was uh, Ishido with B charge time, S body and S plus kick and he was taller and he was better than him, now Ishido has A charge time, S plus kick and he's still taller and he has A plus body. <clears throat> uh, let's go for Hiroto, Hiroto Japan is S plus kick, A charge time, uh, with A plus speed and A body. He's not that good as a versatile chainer, he's just specifically go for a chain. He's a nice wing because of the reverse Ryusei blade and Tenkot Shi. And he has a good speed. Um, I would say a, a charge time is definitely nice for him. He, ha he has dashes, so it's not bad. He, he can score to touch Mukai, which is insane. With some insane RNG he can score to Endo since S plus kick. Because of extreme he has S plus kick, so I think he's on top of A, kinda. He's very balanced. Since he counters touch Mukai, since he like he can score to Shuten or he can score to other goalkeepers like Senguji, where he doesn't have an advantage or a disadvantage. So yeah, he's not a bad trainer. He's definitely nice. Just his adult version is a little bit better. Then we have Somelka Japan. Uh, I think he's on bottom of A. He's not that bad, he's not that good. B charge time, A plus body, he can be played with S plus body. S kick and a chain which is an, a fucking air chain, which is unfortunate. But his Dragon Blaster which is pretty strong, he has that. And air element is pretty strong in the game because it counters both of the best goalkeepers like. Shinsuke and Tachimukai with Nudge in the hand. Of course, Tachimukai with Mao the hand, which is something not that much seen nowadays, can stop you, but mm, you've got the B charge time. You cannot uncharge, so once he's charged, you gotta go for the, the chain. Uh, if you combine him with Goenji Japan, maybe you play Goenji Japan on the wing and then Samelka, uh, you chain into Goenji and then into Samelka with something like a chain initiator like Kai, who is pretty nice. You can easily get uh, free goals most of the time. Uh, however, outside of that, this Sonyoka doesn't have that much use. If you want to make him good, you gotta sacrifice two items, like um, one for speed, for charge time speed up, the candy, and the other one is probably for body. But he's tall, he has dashes, he has okay speed. He's not bad, he's just very situational and maybe good for draft teams only. Uh, Ichinoze. Ichinoze got a little bit of a buff with his Pegasus shot being 90 power in extreme. This version has 8 charge time and he can uncharge. And versus chain versus goalkeepers like Shuten, like Nero, who are not that much presented, but whenever Shuten is at least presented, he's strong. Having Ichinoze is not a bad idea, but you've got better things on the table like Shindo, you got uh, maybe Kageyama, you got <clears throat> Mahoro maybe, he's just not necessary, but now that he has a very nice power and S-kick and he has 
uh, something to uncharge. I think he can get on top of B. Somewhere close to Goenji, maybe behind him because it's a level 2. It's not a level 3. If it was a level 3 with 110 power, damn, he would have been so good actually. Not that much good because Fidio would still have a better matchups, which is right next the next character. <clears throat> this is my favorite trainer. Um, he is just so balanced. The thing with Fidio is that the goalkeepers that counter him are the goalkeepers that require partners, uh, Zagumeo and Genda. And they only have advantages versus him. The rest of the goalkeepers are neutral with him, or they just don't have, or they have one disadvantage, like Krokoko, like Shuten. So yeah, Fidio, Fidio just gets a free goal most of the times because he doesn't have an advantage or a disadvantage. Oh, but whenever he has an advantage, he's very good, as strong as Kanon in the normal game. So, yeah, that's it pretty much. He doesn't have uh, dashes, but he has a windbreak, which is a little bit better for chainers in my opinion, especially forward chainers. Um, and he also has a level 3 dribbling, which is sort of in post harmony. You can go through Air Bullet Kazimarus, you can be equal with Kishin Torps or S plus Guard Tenma. Uh, X shoe, you can go through the Torp Mixi Max. So he has some niche usages, and there is this strategy where you just get the level one dribbling and then charge him constantly in the matchups versus deep jungles or other defenses, and then you just score whenever they are uncharged. Which is another good strategy, but I don't recommend it because it can easily be uh, a throw playstyle, in my opinion. But still, I think I can easily give him S plus. Because of the versatility he has, and because in my eyes he's the most balanced character in the, the entire game. Then we have uh, Raymond Wang Goenji. He has S charge time, which is 3 minutes and 40 seconds. He has A plus kick, A plus body, and OK speed, OK TP, and maximum fire with 110. He's not tall, but he's OK. And he can be very versatile. You want him with S plus kick? You can get him. If you're okay with the A+, plus, you can go for S+, plus body, and he's becoming equal with deep jungles, which is pretty nice, pretty nice. So yeah, definitely Goenji is not a bad choice, especially this one, because of the S charge time. If you combine him with Somelka and Minamisawa, you can create a team where the charge times are so fast that the opponent cannot react with their defenses, and in that case, you can easily just go for fast chains and go through most of the goalkeepers. For example, Minamisawa can go through Shinsuke while you're going, you can go through Shuten, not Shuten, but uh, Senguji, Tachimukai, you know. And since it's a 110 power chain, it's pretty nice. I think I can put him on bottom of S, top of A. I think that's where he belongs pretty much. He can be uncharged. The S charge time can sometimes hurt you, but it's okay. And then we have the Raymond 2 Gonji. Uh, who is kind of as strong as him. He has S kick, but A charge time, and he keeps the A plus body, which is okay. He's, he has, I think, a little bit more TP than the Raymond one, which is pretty nice. And still, same thing as uh, Raymond one Goenji. He's a little bit not as versatile as him. If you play this guy, you go to play him with S plus body, it's pretty obvious, and you got S kick which is okay with 110 power chain you can be uncharged which is pretty nice a charge time is the best charge time in the game so playing him is a little bit more let's say a trade for a trade while if you play Raymond Wango and G you just get unpredictable and there is no way to realize which going G is which until you just see their charge times being different and when they charge um, so yeah, I think this Goenji can be pretty nice. I, I think I'll put him right below Hiroto maybe. Like, maybe above, let's say above Hiroto. They are pretty nice to play, but you've got Ishido. Ishido has S plus kick, his tower, and he still can be played with S plus body. And he can still ha have S plus kick and his tower. So yeah, and he has A plus guard, which uh, in some matchups can be pretty useful. While... Is going to be just not as good. And then we have Samuel Karimon 1. This guy has been picked so much time, so much different times I've seen him, and it's because of the charge time and the Dragon Blaster. 
There is no other reason to use this Samelka. He has B+, plus, uh, uh, body I think, and his speed is not that great. He has dashes, he can be played with S plus kick, and because of the good 4 plus kick key, which nobody uses. So yeah, he has definitely a strong uh, overall utility and versatility, and I think that just deserves S. He's not on top of S+, plus. I think there is other versions of Samuelka that deserves S+, plus. and yeah. Then we have Gran. <clears throat> Gran is a very nice trade for Hiroto, let's say. He, you get S kick, you get A plus body, which is a nice trade. In my opinion, uh, if you're gonna get, go for a triple chain, you don't need S plus kick. You, if you have S, it's okay as long as you have a 110 power chain. You get S speed, you still have the air chain, and you still have Ryusei blade. And you can play second hair with S plus body, while with Hero to Japan you can play S body only, if you want to go for body, you know. So he becomes equal with Deep Jungle, he can go through Kirino, he is equal with Tayo S plus guard. Um, and yeah, I think that's it overall. He is definitely a character that's pretty interesting, and I think he works better in draft tournaments. And I think that's that's it pretty much. I would say I would put him as a buff Gonji. Or no, 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 I put him right next to the other hero too. They're pretty similar. You just want either more power if you want to go for a single chainer, or you just want a more versatile character. And I think if you want a more versatile character, it works better for draft tournaments. Then we have. Gazelle, Gazelle, he's pretty bad, not gonna lie, A kick, B charge time, Norton impact, 100 power, um, he's never seen, neither his other forms was only seen in multiplayer, it's just, it's just bad. Then we have Somalk uh, Dark Emperors, he's pretty nice, A charge time, S kick, S body, S or A plus speed, something like that it was. He's pretty nice, not gonna lie, and he's has still Dragon Blaster. So he has pretty much more than the this Samelka already. A charge time also, which is so nice. And I would say this is more than enough to be like a very nice character. So I would say he's on bottom of Estad, right next to the other form. But I think Raymond Wamp Samoka is like in the middle of the S-Star, while this, the Dark Emperor is on the bottom side of S-Star. Cannon! <laughs> Cannon has been such a threat in the old game, you know? You see Cannon, you just know it's him. You, there is no other chainer you can play in the other game. Like, video is there still, but Cannon is just so good. And in Extreme, he still keeps being good, but now that he has a goalkeeper that counters him and the, that goalkeeper is meta, it's kind of a problem, you know? But if you go for a triple chain and uh, you want to uncharge him, yeah, he's pretty nice. You can combine him with Goenji adult, you can combine him with Genius as well and just go for a so much value, insane value chain and then even if they should block, if you have an advantage, you still score, but if you don't have an advantage, let's say you have a disadvantage even, uh, it's an RNG game, kinda. As long as the chain initiator is a pretty strong power, then it's not an RNG, it's an RNG game actually. So yeah, it's, I say, I will say, Cannon is on top of Estar. Like on top of Estar. He's balanced, he's just not seen, and if people realize that Shinsuke is now played so much, you would see Kanon every single game, so yeah, uh, just try Kanon again. Suzuno, 8 charge time, S kick now, chainer with Northern Impact, which is okay, which is okay. He has dashes, 8 charge time is pretty fair. I would say he's on bottom of 8 tar. He's not that bad, but there is just other characters who are a little bit more versatile than him and he cannot be uncharged, he doesn't have a defense or a dribbling to be uncharged, you know? You only have the chain and you only use him for chain. You don't use him for anything else. Um, 
And that's pretty bad because you got his speed and dashes. It's just unfortunate that he doesn't have a dribbling like Water Veil or um, maybe something else would have been very interesting with him. Maybe Olympus Harmony would have been interesting. Then we have Yuichi. Yuichi is a pretty nice trainer because he has the ability to go into the Mixamax state and get like two chains before his his Mixamax is gone. So Yuichi with he has S plus kick and Bakunet Screw. Bakunet Screw is a pretty nice chain. It's 100 power, it's not 110 unfortunately. But it's okay for him. In Mixmax he has also dashes, while in the normal form he doesn't have dashes. Uh, he has a level 1 dribbling if you want to uncharge him and play him as a normal chainer with B charge time. So without the Mixmax he doesn't have dashes, but he has a slower charge time. Well with the Mixmax you got the Mixmax Gal Gauge, which is an un infinite like infinitable charge time. Which is pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, I, I would say he's like ATAR, top of A kinda, maybe right next to Gram. Uh, he has more use than everything, everyone in this star kinda. He has a nice key, he has the Mixmax Gal Gauge, which is strong. You cannot say that a Mixim a character a character who has a Mixmax Gal Gauge, he is at least ATAR. There is no denial he's at least ATAR, no matter what character it is. And he has a nice key. 4 plus kick is a devastating key that just people don't use nowadays. Uh, then we have Midori. Midori? Uh, 4 plus kick. Sp uh, Maha Wind Chain. And I think that's it pretty much. I don't think she had a dribbling. Maybe I'm mistaking. If she had, uh, she's still. So she only can shoot, I'm pretty sure. And she has the Earth, which is pretty bad. Chain. I mean, it's not even chain. It's a cough shot. Uh, so yeah, I would say uh, she's just bottom of B. <laughs> she has at least a good charge time, but there is no usage out of it. Your nice elements, your fire and air, but it's level one chain. It's pretty weak. It's pretty bad. Then we have this guy. Um, I forgot his name. Um, yeah, I just he has a level three chain, which is neutral element. So you can only get value out of his default element. And the thing is that Touch Mukai just counters him. He has a 4 plus kick, he can be uncharged, he has B charge time, he has dashes. He can be played with S plus body, but he has 150 DP, which is not enough. Um, so he's pretty not good, kinda. I would say he's right next to Samurka Japan. Um, he's a high risk, high reward character, but your opponent must play a specific goalkeeper in order to counter him. Then we have Saryu. Saryu as a chainer is pretty interesting. Uh, you don't have dashes, you've got the windbreak. Uh, you have you can uncharge now because he has defense. And you got the Mixmax Gal Gauge if you wanna go in Mixmax form and get a free level 3 dribbling and get everybody just knocked out and get the freest chain in the world. And then you got Dragon Blaster, which counters uh, the goalkeepers like Tachimuka I imagine the hand. Like Shinsuke, it's pretty easy to score with him. I would say he's a very underrated chainer. And, peop and he counters people like Genda, who are not seen, but strong whenever you see them. Because they are the best goalkeeper in the game. And I think that's pretty much, uh, he counters Senguji, he counters Sendo. There is not exactly a counter to him, which is the problem. If you want a counter for him, you got Tachimukai with Mouth Hand, and that's it pretty much. I would say he's uh, S-star, like... A solid chainer, very good chainer. And your dribbling has 102 power with S body, S plus kick, Dragon Blaster. He can counter the best goalkeepers in the game. Yeah, just free money, free money. Tsurugi. The normal Tsurugi is bottom of A. Let's say he's around here. Uh, he has B charge time, he has dead drop armament, he has. Ah, that drop chain with 70 power, which is not as powerful as the huge chain, which is 90 power, but... Um, 4 plus kick with Mixmax Gal Gauge, it's so strong, so strong. Um, it's not something that should be underestimated. Like, if you combine this guy with uh, opening tech with Shindo or something like that, he can be a very interesting character to use. 
Without it, he is pretty bad. If you wanna go for only chain with Zergi, he's gonna fail you. Even with the 4 plus kick, even if it's 8 plus kick. Uh, the only way not to fail you is if Tach Mukai is with my other hand, but that's a rare case. So no thanks. Then we have Shindo. Shindo being able to go into Mixumax with a uh, freaking chain is insane. 8 plus kick with 110 power chain, he can chain only 2 times before no, ma no more Mixi. But second half with S plus kick is interesting as well. He can counter some goalkeepers like uh, Shuten, like Nero, they're not that much seen. Otherwise he has uh, his neutral with most of the goalkeepers outside of Genda, Senguji and Rokuko. Rokuko is already a goalkeeper that's not that much seen. Senguji is just the lost goalkeeper in the game, kinda. You see him, you get no value out of him, kinda. And Genda is already a rare case as well. He counters other goalkeepers like Zagumel, who is another strong goalkeeper, but he, he's just a weaker Genda. Uh, he's not that good, but still, Shinu is pretty nice. He can play with Espel's body second half with his Keshin only. So you can transform easily a team from Chain in first half into uh, no match second half, which is an uh, interesting idea to use. You can go for an opening Shinu tag. He's definitely an S bottom of star goalkeeper. Kageyama, uh, he's a worse Shindo, let's say. Um, you got S plus body building, you got good element on sprint swap, you've got double wood with 100 power through, which is pretty bad, kinda. Uh, you counter no goalkeepers outside of uh, Zagumel, Nero, and Shuten. So, yeah, Kageyama is not that much good, in my opinion, because extend zone is not meta, and because you're double wood. Um, it's not that much. Uh, we already said that uh, Ichinose is bitter, so Kageyama he has dashes and S plus body. I can give him credit for that and put him right above Gran. But he doesn't have the reverse shot that Gran has. He doesn't have the 110 power that Gran and Hero to have. He doesn't have the S plus kick that they have, he has only S, he has HR time, he has S plus P uh, body. He can be an interesting hybrid because he's neutral with the most broad goalkeepers and he, while in the same time countering a goalkeeper which is pretty strong too, like Shuten. So I can put him right behind them and say that's the best place I can give him. Then we have Hakuryu. Hakuryu is double R, S plus kick. It's an air chain, Dragon Blaster, and he has an armed, and he has a Kome Miximax, S speed. The problem with Hakuryu, Tachimukai. Tachimukai is the most broad goalkeeper. His percentage of being brought in every game is insane, and as long as Tachimukai is brought, Hakuryu is just not that much of a good chain. Thanks God he has S plus kick, and with 100 power chain, that's okay. -ish. Having S plus kick is very, very nice. So I would say eh, he's on top of A. Maybe because of Kobe Mixi Max, he can be extended. Yeah, let's give him S. Um, because of the Kome, you can use him te tactically in the first half, and in the second half, give him a candy to get HR's time and get so much value out of him in the second half with chains only. But keep in mind that some go players like to switch from Shinsuke in the first half into Tachimuka, I imagine, in the hand second half. So it's still a risky playstyle and it's very rewarding whenever they don't do it, whenever they just keep playing Shinsuke. Then we have Kitaki. You may say Kitaki is not a chainer, and I would agree with you. He's not a chainer. He's definitely not a chainer. He's just a strong midfielder. But he's strong enough to outclass everybody in B tower and become A tower, at least bottom of A. <sighs> the reason that Kitaki is there is because he counters Tachimukai. Tachimukai, I imagine the hand is so popular so popular that he is now a chainer. Get the chain start with Gamma, Saryu, or whatever, and you can just get a free goal with Kitaki against Tachimukai with a little bit of a lucky RNG, of course. If you want to get goals versus Shinsuke or Endo or goalkeepers that you don't have advantage against, you can make a chain onto the wing into ta into him and get a free goal, which is pretty nice. It also, if you're gonna do the wing chain, like for example, you start a chain with Saryu into Hiroto wing 
And then you go to Kitakin's uh, North Impact. That's a pretty interesting idea. That's a pretty interesting idea. And I definitely agree with that's an interesting play. And goalkeepers like Shuten can easily be being br brought with that. Like they can easily just break in front of you. What's up, Wogviti? So next is Mahoro. Mahoro is an interesting channel as well. He's not used as a channel, that's the thing. He's just a much versatile version of Kageyama. He can be used as a partner for Badap. He also can have extend zone with S plus kick, which is a little bit also better than uh, Kageyama. But the thing is that he's uh, as good as going to Japan is. Um, he's not as he just yeah he's as good as going to Japan. You can have a uh, dribbling, which is. Uh, I've already forgot. You can have a Kishin Dribbling with S Body, which is pretty strong versus Deep Jungle, the most broad defense. Um, and you get freaking Extend Zone in the second half if you want to go with Candy to give him an HR time. And also go with S Plus Kick. He can become a very interesting chainer. And if you pay attention to the enemy goalkeeper, if it's for example not Senguji or Rokoko. You can easily get some free goals. So he has a little bit more of a versatility than Kageyama. But you need a lot to make to make him viable. However, if you combine him as a middle chainer to pass the chain to Saryu or Hakuryu, which both have B charge time, or maybe going to Japan, or maybe Someoka, or maybe other chainers with B charge time, you can easily make this guy shine because he has uh, the Kishin dribbling. And even if you don't want to go for that, you have the Kishin dribbling. The Kishin dribbling is so strong. And yeah, I, I think that's it pretty much. Mahoro is just. Let's say better than those people over here. Yeah, as a solo chainer, he's not that good, but if you use him for the utility he provides in draft tournaments, in normal games, he can be so strong as a chainer. Why are you making a talist? Um, I don't know. I think there should be a talist for uh, the dispatch. Let's go for uh, Yukimura. S kick, double wind, dashes. Uh, Kishin shot with 190 power. I'm, I'm sorry, but Yukimura is not good. <laughs> um, the most of the time, Kanon is better since Kanon has 110 power chain, while Yukimura has 100 power chain. Yukimura has double elemental advantage versus uh, Shinsuke, but Kanon already has one advantage versus Shinsuke, and his second advantage is built in his chain where it's 110 power. Already I said it. So uh, it's better to use Kanon most of the times because he counters more goalkeepers like Senguji, which Yukimura sucks if he gets one chain only. Uh, so I, I think Yukimura is definitely not a good character in the game. He, he's just not good. He, I, 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 I don't like Yukimura. I, I would say, if Yukimura had S plus kick like Hakuryu, I can give him, honestly, let's say I can put him right next to Gran. Without it, he's just good for countering Shinsuke, which is a very nice point, and Shuten. So I would put him above Kageyama. If he has S plus kick, maybe right next to Goenji. It, it would be... Very strong if he has S plus kick, you see. Uh, but if he has S kick, he is just meh. If he has S plus, he is just good because he has dashes, S speed, he has. Uh, now he will have even 195 power with his Kishin, so it's it's still something, you know? And Panther Blizzard is not a. And now the case that I just gave with Cannon, it's broken. That's why I didn't say it with Hakuryu. Because Hakuri always has 5 more, more points versus Endo and Shinsuke, while Kanon doesn't have them. But with Yukimura, Kanon always is tied with Yukimura versus Shinsuke and Endo. If, if Yukimura gets S plus kick, um, yeah, he's becoming a better Hakuryu to some extent for chainers, for chains only. Even though he doesn't have the Mixmax Cow Gauge. Still, Minamisawa. Minamisawa is. Mm, I don't know what to say about Minami so he's a messed up chainer. I would say he's the opposite of Mahoro. He provides a good charge time, and that's it. 
You can combine him with Goenji Raymon 1, as I said, and Samoka Raymon 1, and get the fastest chain in the game. And if you combine him with Goenji, you can get goals on the most of the goalkeepers. Touch Mukai, Goenji can melt him, even if it's A plus kick versus Maj in the hand. Uh, or Samoka can melt him. You see, uh, Shinsuke Minamisawa can go through with A plus kick in enough power. And because they have S charge time, the defenders of the opponent may not be charged when they are charged. So, I think Minamisawa is an interesting trainer. He doesn't have dashes, which is unfortunate. His dribbling was buffed in extreme. And I think that's it. Um, he can be played S plus kick well, and be better than Yukimura. So, he still has some versatility. Um... I honestly don't know where to put him. I would say he's either right next to Tsurugi or right above Tsurugi with a little bit. I would say he's right above Sonoka Japan. I think that's a fair place to put him. That's a very fa very fair place to put him. He can be used very nice in draft teams in my opinion. He's a little bit more of a good pick in draft teams, especially if you don't have the option to pick Yukimura or Hakuryu. So yeah. Definitely, that's it. Shinjami. Shinjami is another interesting character. Um, she cannot charge. She doesn't have dashes. She has a body with good dribbling, or fair enough nice dribbling. And A plus kick with extend zone. The thing is that she doesn't counter anybody outside of Tachimukai, which is a very strong point. Second half with S plus kick, she's decent. S speed. It's okay, because you don't have dashes, you know? Sam Puji having always a shoot block, especially in forward, is pretty nice. But outside of that, there is not that much to Shinjami, isn't it? Mm, only countering Tajimukai. You can get countered easily by somebody not presented like Senguji or Rokko, you know? Or even Endo or Shinsuke. Shinsuke is more than enough, actually stop you with a single chain even if even if you initiate with gamma hmm i don't know where to put shinjami as well i would say she's right below tsurugi right below or or maybe a little bit above him because she counters touch mukai yeah right above him like tsurugi only has the mixture max go each and, and four plus key, key that's it on the mod like Shin, if shinjami had an interesting key like let's say she offers catch or no let's say she offers body as a chainer can be very interesting especially with Espos body or I mean Espos kick second half Le or let's say she has Espos body built in without changing her key and sh she's now equal to deep jungles which is perfect and she can still be on charge and she can still be played with Espos kick second half so yeah I, I think if she had Espos body she would have been perfect, but she never got that S plus body, and I don't think she will ever get it if there are other patches of extreme. Rasetsu. Rasetsu is a goalkeeper. Uh, goalkeeper. What the fuck? Chainer, who is ass. <laughs> He's so bad. That's in my opinion one of the worst chainers you can have in the game. Okay, he has a dribbling. He has a dribbling. He has dashes, but the dribbling is so weak. It's so weak, even Jack, I mean Kabeyama with Mountain can stop it. It's so bad. <sighs> you can score Touch Mukai. That's the only thing this trash character is good for. The only thing that makes him decent in the game is Touch Mukai being the fucking most bot goalkeeper. His ass, his ass, 100 power chain is trash and especially it's wood. You don't counter anybody outside of Touch Mukai. <sighs> and as I said, the same issue with Shinjami. But he cannot be uncharged. He has dashes, but he doesn't have the S plus kick second half. He still has S. Why play him when you can play Goenji, adult? He has S plus kick and he has maximum fire 110. He's, and Goenji adult is taller than him, better dribbling, he can be uncharged. There is no point of picking this character. I would say he's over here, right next to going to Japan. Going to Japan is more useful than him. If we talk about draft tournaments, I would still go for going to Japan. Since countering only one goalkeeper is just 
not good. While well, going to Japan is Yuko with Senguji. He has only one disadvantage versus Rokoko. He does not have a disadvantage or advantage versus Majin the Hatachi. And yeah, I think that's pretty much. So yeah. <clears throat> Genius. <laughs> Genius is a character that I don't particularly like now. I, I, whenever I see Genius, I know that if the Chain Starter or the Chain Initiator is not powerful enough, like Asaru or Gamma or Kinaku, he's going to be stopped, because I play most of the time Shinsuke. Even if it's Tachimoka with Majin the Head, he always has a disadvantage. And those are the most broad goalkeepers, and then we have the third one, which is Shuten. Shuten is not that much broad, but he's just so strong versus Genius. So Genius alone is... Very trash. He can be uncharged, he has his body with all the leads, but... Um, air chain... I don't know where to put Genius. Um, I, I would say... Because of the, the goalkeepers, he's bad. Because the goalkeepers counter him specifically, and they're so good. If the goalkeepers were... Uh, Senguji, Rokoko... Goalkeepers that he either counters or just has an advantage to some extent. If maybe Tachimukai never had that match in the hand, let's say he only had Mao the hand, I would say Genius is pretty nice. I would say Genius would be the best goalkeeper, uh, the best chainer in the game, but... Um, however, however, as a middle chainer, he works pretty nice, let's say that. Let's say he's over here. Yeah, I think that's fair. Or no. Yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. It's it's pretty okay spot for Genius to be in. Not too strong, not too weak, not too overperforming. I, I think he's a little bit overpicked because people don't know what the goalkeepers they should be countering. So yeah, uh, it's kind of in between, you know. Gosher Flair. Uh, Gosher Flair is an interesting character. He can uncharge, he has dribbling level 1, he has S kick, he has back on his screw 100 power. Um, yeah, I think he's still better than Rosetsu, you know? A charge time as well. He, he was so good in draft tournaments in the original game. Nowadays, he's not that good. Even in draft tournaments, he's never seen. Uh, he has dashes, he has a speed, I'm pretty sure, or A+. Plus. Good TP, Gal Gauge. Bakunit's crew is just too weak, let's say that. So, so I would say he's not that practical. I think he's behind going to Japan. If, if you wanna build a draft team, just go for going to Japan. You can make a little bit more value than, out of him than Gosh Flair because of the slow charge sign. And then we have the adults, finally. Hiroto adults. Um, yeah, I think he's a star. Definitely a good character. He has fallen out of out of the meta a little bit, because Goenji now can not charge. Um, but he's still pretty nice, being able to carry a shoot block and 110 power chain with S plus kick, while also having nice DPS speed Good body type in game and freaking. What else? What else did he have? 10 Kotoshi, 110 power. He's a very nice support chainer in the middle. Nowadays, you can even play him as a main cha chainer and score against Tachimka, you know? So, so he's pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, I would say he's pretty nice, yeah. I think that spot is just perfect for him. Koenji. I think. Goenji is secretly an S plus star chainer. I think he's the best. One of the best. Like, remember that Hiroto has an air chain, while Goenji has an earth chain. Maximum fire is an earth chain. S plus kick, everything that Hiroto has, but he also can uncharge, you know? So that's a pretty strong point about Goenji. Uh, same matchups as Hiroto. But the thing is that he cannot charge. You get a team with Genius, Kanal and, uh, and, and Goenji and you cannot charge all of them and you just wait and the defender is now uncharged. Well, you can just score for free. Then we have Somelka Adult. Uh, I think this guy is just an S-star as well. 
That's plus, I mean. Um, he can score. Like, this guy is pretty nice with Genius. Uh, if you combine him with Genius, you can easily, easily go through all the goalkeepers in the game. For example, shooting counters Genius, well, some elk counters shooting. Uh, Gen uh, Touch Mokai counters Genius, well, some elk counters Tachi. Touch Mokai counters some elk, well, Genius counters Tachi. Well, and, and yeah, that's that's a very interesting point about uh, Somelka that he can help a lot of chainers with that. For example, you can you can combine him with uh, Saryu, and it's a strong as uh, with Genius. It, it's it's there is a lot of value, and he got buffed to 170 TP because I don't know why. I think 160, 170 is just pretty strong. Because of Dragon Duster being extremely good versus the best goalkeepers, Tachimukai with Majin and of course uh, the Shinsuke or Endo. So yeah, and even Shuten, being able to counter Shuten is just insane. You see Senguji, well you got Genius to score, you know? So I'd say definitely Somoka has be, become one of the best chainers in the game. I would say he's the yeah, I'll put them in that way. Fidu is the lowest S plus in my opinion, and Somelka is the highest S plus. And yeah. Then we have Yuichi X Kyosuke. Um that's an interesting mix max I've used. He's a little bit better than Gosho Flair because of S plus kick built in. He cannot uncharge, he has a charge time as Gosho Flair. He has 4 plus kick as well. So those three points are pretty strong already. And I'll put him right above, uh, yeah, above Kyosuke. I think he's very nice. The problem is that that drop can screw some chains because sometimes you chain with that drop and it's pretty bad. But with this, with this Yuichi, you don't have that drop. You just go for back and it's screw, and you always get back and it's screw. So yeah, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. And you got the dashes, and you have an army drill, an army. Uh, Dead drop, which is pretty strong as well, versus Tachimukai. But outside of Tachimukai, you don't counter that much goalkeepers because back on its crew is 110 power, and that's the problem. Now we have uh, Tsurugi Kyosuke, ex Okita. This guy doesn't have the Mixed Max Gal Gage. He has 4 plus kick still. He, he can carry Kukichi Monchi and Armet and a Chain, which is a very strong points. But the Chain is 70 power! It's not 90! Why? The Yuichi has 90 power dead drop, the, pre the Mixmax dead drop is 90 power, while the normal dead drop for Tsurugi, which we took the power from, is 70 power. Why? Please buff Tsurugi, make him have 90 power dead drop, in both normal form and in pre Mixmax form. Just, it doesn't make sense, you get the power from that guy, you give it to another guy and the no the normal guy doesn't have that power, but the the other guy is like, yeah, I'm a gypsy. I'll get more power because I'm not black in my mix max. Wow, huge. Uh, so as long as his dead drop is 70 power, I would say he's right here. If his dead drop gets to 90 power, I would consider him being over here because of the key and because of HR, and which is pretty nice. But 70 power dead drop is bitter. It's so bad. It's so ass. He can carry so much utility. Kukichi Monchi Armet, it's so good. SP dashes. Fucking dead drop, bro. Then we have Saryu. X Ide. Ideshi? Something like that. It was his mix. I don't remember it. This Saryu is an interesting character. Same matchups as the other Saryu. He also has a better charge time with the bow, which is interesting. But he loses the windbreak. He gets those uh, jumps, three step jumps, which is pretty bad, especially for a chainer. It's pretty trash. It's it's very bad. And now I realize I forgot one chainer from Team Zero. I think it was the coach, which is an earth element. Yeah, here he is. I'll talk about him after Saryu. You still keep the same matchups with the normal Saryu. You have a faster charge time with the ball, but you don't have the windbreak. You don't have the Miximax Galgage in case you fuck up. But in draft tournaments, this Saryu, I think, 
can be a little star. He can shine so well. I would put him right here. Bad key, which is unfortunate. No Mixmax Cow Gauge. He can be uncharged because of the defense. One the trap, but not that much special outside of that. And the last guy, Ka Kabeyama, no. Ko Ka uh, Kabeyama, no. Kage Koboyam. I forgot his name. What's up, Kaiser? I forgot his name. Mm. Okay, the coach. Earth element and neutral chain with 100 power. Three step jump, another uh, chainer with three step jump. He cannot be uncharged. His dribbling sucks ass. It's 90 power and double earth. It's bad. And he counters none of the meta goalkeepers. He's neutral with them and he's even worse because. For example, Fidio has 110 power chain while being neutral with them, but he has 100 power chain and he doesn't have the windbreak. And I think, I'm not sure he had B charge time. I'm not sure about um, that. Kibayama, Kibayama was his name. But the, that's the problem with Kibayama. Three step jump as a chainer is pretty bad. As a support chainer, as a middle chainer, I think he can be very interesting. As a normal chainer, I would say he's right below Suzumo. He's not that great. He has a very nice body to go for Inazuma shots if you wanna play some, some kind of a mixed chain team, but outside of that he's just trash. And yeah, I think that's the tire list. Now oh, let me look once again. Yeah, I think that's it pretty much. Mm, maybe I'll put Genius above Someoka though. I think he has more of a usage. Um, yeah, I, I think that's the tile list. There is nothing else I would say is kind of out of place, you know? Everything is balanced in this tile list. If I have to rank other characters, I don't know. I don't know. Why Somoka S? Um, Somoka Raymond 1 has 4 plus kick. S charge time, Dragon Blaster, A plus kick. With second half, he, he gets S plus kick. And that's pretty strong already, and you can play for plus kick if you would like. And then we have the Dark Emperor Somaka who has S kick, S body, which none of the other Somakas have S body outside of, you know, this guy, the adult. And he just. He he has a charge time while this guy has us. That's it pretty much. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's the list. Damn, 48 minutes video. Damn. Okay guys, bye bye.